You can now very easily download and sort your images in Midjourney using the Midjourney website and also the Alpha website. Now I've done a video on bulk download recently, but a lot has been changed, so I'm gonna update it today. Now, if you're actually just in your Explore feed at any point, you can click on an image and go to download. So you don't even have to be just your images, you can download images from the Explore feed. But if you're looking at downloading your images, which is probably what you're more likely to be doing, head over to my images on the left here, and at any point you can open up an image and click this download button here. But you're probably wondering how you can download in bulk. Well, there's a few different ways you can do that and then there's ways you can sort to download certain types of images as well. I'm gonna cover the sorting and even how to create folders as well. So that way you can get a little bit more control over this whole process. So again, I'm in my images here. If you are on the Alpha website, which I'll quickly switch to, I've made the Alpha website white, so you can see that the white website is the Alpha website and the current website is just the gray website. Uh, but archive is basically where you want to go. But I'm gonna switch back to the main website because it's pretty much the same from there and it's gonna sort of discuss the difference in a minute. So again, we can click on these images. However, I can go up the top here to this little plus symbol and download all of my images for one day. And come down here to download, or you can even click more. And if there's folders there, you can sort of yeah, work from there. But this might not necessarily work for you. So another thing you can do is drag a box. If I come down to just above, I can drag a box here and select one item. I could then hold down shift and select and deselect more items. If I hold down shift and just click on an image, it also selects an item there. And I can come down the bottom here to download that item. So you can select images individually or even drag a box like you would say in a Windows folder to select multiple items in one hit. Now, if you want to operate a bit quicker, there's a few options down the right here. Keep in mind, you can scroll down and do this with any day, but you'll be scrolling forever if you're looking for some of your older images. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do that, including one on the Alpha website, which is even better. But essentially, if I come down here, if you don't see this panel here on the right, click the Organize button, to turn it on or off. Under Filters, we can actually filter by rating, which is not much because I don't rate my own images. Or you can choose only the upscales. So if you've only upscaled certain images, you can cut out a lot of the others you don't want. Or you can just choose the grids themselves or you can just have everything. But you can also go by image size, whether it's a square image or a landscape image or portrait image. So there's a few different ways you can kind of sort that and you can even go by version. So if you're looking for something you made back in say 2022, you can just tick version three and that's one way of getting to your older images since version three was more prominent in 2022, but I had to use it a few times last year. So you can go by version as well, version one, version two, version five. However, Niji and things like that are on here, which is a bit of a disappointment. So you might need to choose all for that. And you simply click to deselect. And again, you can also choose tile, tiled or raw if you want to sort that way. So that is how you can select and filter different options, but there is also another one. Under view options, you can also choose this to full if you want to see the full image instead of a square image. Now, most of these are square, so it's not a great example, but you can see here, these images are landscape. So I can do that, but if you want to be able to see more and operate quicker, you can go to small here and you can actually physically see more images on the page, which means you can then start to select more aggressively. I'm gonna change this back to square. Or if you're having trouble seeing, obviously switch it to large and the images are larger. So those are a few very quick little filters you can do, but there's actually even something better than that. You can start to work with folders. So up the top here where I've got folders, I've got no folders here at the moment, I've deleted them, but I can come here to create a folder. Now let's say I have a Christmas themed folder. I'm gonna tick, and I've, I've found that coming back to this for some reason didn't work, so I would do this while creating the folder. Tick smart folder, because that's pretty much the only way you can add images at this stage. You'll see here, you can't manually add or remove images, but you can, you can add in keywords. So if I type in Santa, Christmas, or Xmas, I can now create a folder. So now when I come over here to my Christmas folder and click on it, it's filtered all of those images that are Christmas themed. And I'm going to just make that image size medium again. So every Christmas image I've created is now in here. 
so I can more easily refine what it is I'm looking for. Sure, you can use search as well, but folders are also pretty handy uh, because you can simply just search for those things. But with with the folder filter, you can have multiple keywords in there uh, that are actually, so if you have Santa or Christmas, it'll pop up. Whereas when you search, I don't know if you can search for multiple terms and have it just simply collect everything. And we'll probably search for something that has both Santa and Christmas, if that makes sense. So, and again, I can come through and hold down shift and select the images I wanna download, or I can just hit select all, deselect, and I can continue to scroll down and hit select if I want to as well. So select all, select all, and you can actually then select multiple days at a time to keep scrolling down. You can see here, selected 177 images. As I continue to select, I've got 274. If I hold down shift, I can just add one or two images at a time and then hit download. It will zip those up and you can then save that file on your computer. Now there is another option on alpha.midjourney.com. However, if you're watching this video in the future, this option may simply just be in the native Midjourney website by now, but at the time of recording, you have to go to alpha midjourney.com to land on the alpha website and there is over on the right here very subtle there's a little bar coming down that has different dates so i'm in my archive here on the left and next to my scroll bar there's actually another little scroll bar i can come down and find, search by date so i come down 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 to the 26th of september 2022 and i have a bunch of old images here from that date. So you can actually come to certain days quite easily in the Alpha website. And I imagine this is a feature they will be implementing into the uh, current Midjourney website. But there's also legacy.midjourney.com. So by heading to legacy.midjourney.com, I can sign in, link up with Discord. And you'll notice I've actually got my Christmas collection here still, but I can use the old interface if that's what I prefer, at least at the time of recording. This may not be up forever, but I come up, I've logged in and there's an archive button here. And if I go to a different page, that archive button isn't there. So I do need to go to home, over to archive. And I have here the images as before, but I can also scroll down to the date. So I can come down to January or February. So, oh, here we go. January up to the beginning of February. So let's choose 27th of January, 2023. And I can bring up all of those images here, click the little plus button on the right and download using the older downloader. And also keep in mind, if I switch over to Discord, you simply cannot download in bulk. However, if you're someone who actually wants to download images on your computer, it's not so much a big deal on the phone. If you open up the image, you can tap and download. But if you're on a PC or an Apple and you click on an image and go to save this image you see here, it's actually not the full resolution. What you need to do is where it says open a browser, right click, save link as, or you can simply open it up and save the image from the new tab. It's important to do that to get the full resolution image as Discord does shrink those images. So I hope that's given you a very clear understanding of how to download images from Midjourney. Like I said, this is a recently, everything's been recently updated. So I could end up redoing this video again in two months because Midjourney are constantly evolving, changing and updating. But uh, I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.